Guys, what's up? Welcome to the backyard here. It's a uh, Sunday. Beautiful day. Thank you for uh, joining me the other day. A little trail ride. Hope you guys enjoy that. So getting over here, I think I got a little bit of shade going on. I do. I'm gonna straighten up the K10 here, but I wanted to kind of go over the truck. I uh, got out and did some pretty good wheeling the other day. It was pretty fun. Had a good time. Countered some rain, some thunder, and some rocks and these light forces they did good with these uh um the spread beam on them they're like a combo filter so they kind of go wide and they have a spot in them but it was pretty cool so it was you can see how it kind of kind of went across the trail so that was pretty nice they lit things up pretty good um up underneath everything was pretty good i didn't really bash the front diff at all looks like all that was was pretty okay and then moving along here, it looks like the transfer case and everything was pretty good. The uh, one thing I did, I did bust up, well, then bust it up, but uh, I slammed up the diff quite a few times. That 14 bolt, that sucker hangs down there. I, I used to bash up that other 14 bolt too. That's in the crawler here, but. So uh, getting up underneath here, I did do this. I uh, caught that on a rock coming up a hill. And I caught that and you kind of peeled a little metal off of that sucker. Looks like it caught a rock or two. The uh, gas tank skid plate. Looks like there's a couple areas where it uh, got some scrapes and scratches and that's why it's there. One of these little legs seems like it might be a little discombobulated. I might straighten that out a little bit. But my goal, my plan, and you can see how it's mounted there. That It's a stamped cross member and it's pretty strong but I want those legs to bend before the cross member you know I don't want to go and ripping a cross member out so I think it did okay so uh, yeah I think I may have, may have got it a little bit but that's what it's for to protect the tank I'm gonna I'll do an inspection make sure I didn't thrash the tank at all um, caught the uh, bumper a little bit so it's another thing we're gonna talk about what to do with the K10 and then uh, see this I don't really think it rubbed at all I'm not so sure how much I was flexed out but the truck did well it really did for um, for no lockers and then uh, you know bashed and beat up the wheels a little bit they're just rubbing up against rocks and rubbing my weight off and stuff but I did catch a rock here so I'm gonna have to pull that back into place so that won't be a big deal yeah so uh, it was a good time uh, I'm gonna go grab the pressure washer I left gasoline in it from like I don't know a month ago so I need to fire that sucker up I've been looking for an excuse and now that I got a little bit of mud on the truck I think it'll be a good time to do that
All right, guys, I don't think you're ever going to see the K10 this clean. Blasted it off, wiped down the bumpers, man, cleaned up the wheels. A little uh, waterless wash on it after I was done washing. Also, even sprayed the tires, man. Never going to see them this clean again. Anyways, dirt won't stick to them, but I don't know. And then clean the windows. So that's about it. All right guys, so uh, we are making some progress. I've got the springs out. Uh, I've got this rear perch off. So the, I had the GoPro on, I was gonna do a little time-lapse action. And the it died right as I was getting ready to pull this one off. So basically all I did, I just, I drilled everything. Um, you know, punch, 3 16 and I have a nice, like, nice new 3.8, so I hit it with the 3.8, and then I hit it with a half inch, knocked the uh, head of the rivet off, and then uh, I hit it a couple times with the, um, with a sledgehammer, and then I just kind of pried it off, and it flopped right off. And so then what I'd usually do is I'll have a little bit left over. Now, if I can get in there and drill it really good, which I'm, you know, I can't get in here that good on these, but I'm drilling them well, and then I just soak them with WD, and then later on I'll whack them and they'll come out. So my wife already came out here and started yelling at me. She's like, what's going on out here? I was like, well, I'm taking rivets out. So I don't know. These chicks just don't get it. But uh, anyway, so uh, I'm going to get back on. I'm going to at least get the other side drilled. I'll see what time it is before I start banging. But uh, maybe I can get it drilled and at least get it off. All right, guys, I've kind of given you hyper speed the last two days. So it's day three and uh, made some pretty good progress. I just gotta wallow these holes out a little bit so that I can get the shackle flip in. And so basically, I'm using, I'm still in the shackle flip off the K20, um, the super lift, and I got four inch super lift springs for the front. So I'm not doing a 52 swap just yet. I'm gonna wait, I don't know. We'll see how those springs are. I've heard good things about them. I read some good reviews. So we'll see if they're any good. If they flex good, then you know maybe we're good to go. Um, in the future, you know, maybe I'll do some crossover and do some 52 but these 56s ought to give me pretty good flex. Um, I'm still in those off the K20 also, so when I'm ready, I'll just get another shackle flip and everything. I just have to really bolt it on. So last night, I pretty much just um, took them off and then rehung these ones just with a couple, couple of bolts. So that's really all. Um, but anyway, so tonight I get to focus on the K10. Um, swallow these out, get them bolted up. I'm going to get the springs over. And uh, put new bushings in them. Basically, I, I just put new bushings in the 52s that came out of here. So I'm gonna just pull them out and uh, and run them uh, in the 56s. So well, I have to waste any money. And then I will uh, once I do get back on the 20, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do on that. So I'm kind of slowing down on the 20 just because I want to kind of do things right and not rush it. And, and I want to go wheel the crap out of the K10. So that's really it. Wheeling his life. I'm 
night number four on this sucker. I'm gonna try to shield the wind from the camera here, but the uh, here's what we got. So I was originally, I, I wanted to lift this up a little bit more. So I have two and a half inch springs on the front. I had the two and a half inch blocks on the back. So I've removed all that. And I took the shackle flip off the K20 and uh, put it on here. And I was gonna run the 56s that I had uh, in the K20, but the bushings were pretty bad in them. So I decided to uh, knock them out and I was gonna just use my bushings out of these springs. However, they're the wrong size. So it looks like I need uh, one and three quarters and these are one and a half. It ain't gonna work. So I don't really wanna spend the money on bushings right now because the set's like 60 bucks and then I have to wait for them and stuff. So I'm gonna end up running, since I have brand new bushings in these, I'm just gonna run these half ton 52s that have new bushings in them. And yeah, <laughs> I uh, I don't know. So I have to, I have to flip these now um, to the opposite side. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. To <laughs> so anyways, another thing that I had to do was my hit or my, uh, yeah, my hitch. My hitch didn't fit on here uh, due to where the bracket is located. So I'll either have to alter that or come up with something else. So I've been thinking about bumper design. I don't have a whole lot of big material. Uh, so I don't know right now what I'm gonna do. I'm probably, I don't know, I'm thinking about running the step bumper that came off the K20. I don't know, it's a little bit bent, but I think it might look okay on here. So I might try that up and I think I'm gonna do a little fender trimming. Try it, see what happens. Alright guys, so my GoPro died kind of in the middle. I know I was trying to give you guys time lapse, but anyways, I uh, got this sucker done. All but putting my tank back in here. Putting a new fuel filter on. That's what I kind of want to get done here. Let's see if it, it'll focus. There we go. Alright, so that's the flip with the springs installed. And I ended up having to change my U-bolts. I had to use the U-bolts that came with the K20 since they were shorter. Uh, my other ones were like way too long. So it's okay, they'll hold me over for a little bit. I'll get some new ones. But uh, I'll keep the light here. We'll back up, take a look. Yeah, so uh, I dig the back of these when they don't have anything hanging down. Just, just I don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna trim the fenders too, but I like it when they're all like leveled off in the back. But uh, I'm gonna think I might try that bumper that came off the K20, that step bumper, and see how that looks. Since I'll, I'll either have to modify my receiver and build a bumper, I'm gonna have to do that probably anyways. But well, uh, I don't know. I guess I could use my regular bumper, but it's kind of bent up. But anyways, so if you look at the height wise. It was pretty level before, and uh, if you remember, I had two and a half inches, and I got four inch lift springs for the front, and it's a four inch shackle flip, so pretty much every these are stock springs, um, just half ton 52s. Like I said, I was going to run the 56s, but I didn't have the bushings for them, and I took the other bushings out. So let me see where the tire's at in the fender well. If it's moved up, it, it may be a little, maybe an inch. I don't know. I'm not sure. My drive line is at a better, the slip's at a better position, so I'm okay with that. I know as this droops, I think as it droops, it's gonna go forward, and then as it compresses, it'll pull out. And then uh, if you look at the front, so I think 
once I get those four inch springs up here, I think I should be sitting pretty level. So, I don't know. Maybe I gained an inch and a half, two inches back here, but there's a pretty good rake on the truck. It's probably hard to see here, but I didn't measure, but I think it's gonna be just fine. I think it's gonna put me about perfect up front. And I think four inches is all the little lift I need. But anyways, that's it. So, uh, tomorrow night, Saturday, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, but tomorrow night, Saturday, I'm gonna come out, get my fuel tank and stuff back up in there, get all my fuel lines hooked up. And then, I don't know, I got family in town this week, so I'm, I'm gonna try to get on these springs like maybe Sunday morning, but it probably won't happen until probably about a week. I'll get those. They won't take very long, I don't think, to put the front ones in. Um, just a matter of just swapping the springs out, really. But uh, anyways, we'll get on it. Anyways, you guys have a good night. And uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section. I will answer them. So you guys take care.